Good afternoon to all your five. Today we are having a wonderful day. Okay, our next lesson, second lesson of Mahabharat. Now, in the last lesson, we had discussed about Mahabharat, introduction of Mahabharat. And in the introduction of Mahabharat, I gave you six sentences so that we can know about Mahabharat. So these six sentences which I talked about was Mahabharata is one of the scriptures of the Hindus. It is also known as yes, Mahakavya, the great epic with how many shlokas? More than 100,000 shlokas. And then it is also referred to as the encyclopedia of Hindu life and culture. Then it helps us understand our dharma, earth, Kam and Moksha. It was written by Lord Ganesh and narrated by Maharishi Vedyas. It is the story of the Pandavas and Kauravas. So I told you that next last that next time I'll talk about Pandavas and Kauravas. So that's what I'm going to give you the introduction of the Pandavas and Kauravas. So first of all, let us look at the Pandavas. Now there were five Pandavas. Okay, and these five Pandavas, let's get their names. Yudhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul, and Sahadev. So what are the names? Yudhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul, and Sahadev. Now, five brothers. Let's look at each one's qualities so that we know what we are talking about when we talk about them. Now, the qualities of the five Pandavas. I'll start with Yudhishthir. Now, Yudhishthir always spoke the truth at all times. He was, there was no time he would just sway from that. Now, because of that, he was known as Dharmaraj. So when we when we listen to Mahabharata or we read Mahabharata and when we are talking about Dharmaraj, you should know that it is Yudhishthir they are talking about. He was the eldest of the Pandavas. Yes, the eldest of the Pandavas. And then we go to the next Pandav. What's his name? Bhim. Bhim was very strong. Bhim was very strong and a good eater. The four brothers would make sure that Beam would get all his food fully. They would give his share all the time. Then we had Arjun, a very good, very good at archery. Archery is smart at bow and arrow. So he was very good at that. Nakul. He was handsome. And he could train horses. Then we have Sahadev. Sahadev was an astrologer. Astrologer is a person who can read your life. Parents of the five Pandavas were. Pandu was the father. Kunti was the mother with Madhuri as well. So when we talk about parents of the Pandavas, we say Pandu was the father, Kunti and Madhuri were the mothers. Then we go to the, excuse me, then we go to the Kauravs. Kauravs were a hundred in numbers. The Kauravs. The Kauravs were a hundred in numbers. And the eldest was Duryodhan. Dhritarashtra was the father and Gandhari was the mother. Now, let us me talk about Dhritarashtra and Pandu first, okay? Now, there were two brothers, Dhritarashtra and Pandu, living in Hastinapur. Now, what happened was that Dhritarashtra was blind by birth. Now, because of that, he could not become the king of Hastinapur. So his younger brother became the king, that is Pandu. 
Now, Dhritarashtra had ambitions to become a king. He had all the qualities to become a king. But then he was told that because he is blind, he cannot inherit the throne of Vastinapur. Okay? So this made him unhappy. But then he did not show it. Now Pandu becomes the king and gets mad. Both of them, Dhritarashtra and Pandu begin a married life. Now, during the life of Pandu, Pandu made a mistake by killing Rishi and his wife. So for repent, repenting of his deeds, he left Hastinapur under the care of Dhritarashtra and went with Kunti and Madri to live in the forest. And in the forest is where the five Pandavas were born. Now over here Dhritarashtra and Gandhari also had 100 sons of Kauravas. Now one day what happened was that Pandu and Pandu died and according to the traditions Ma, the wife dies after the king, after the husband dies also. So Madri decided to die with Pandu and left her children. Nakul and Sahadev under the care of Kunti. So Kunti became the mother of the five Pandavas. Now Kunti and the Pandavas, the five Pandavas, after the death of Pandu and Madhuri, returned back to Hastinapur. On the other side, Duryodhan had grown up. Okay? And when Duryodhan had grown up, his uncle Shakuni had already taught had already taught, yes, had already taught Duryodhan that all this belongs to him and is the future king of Hastinapur. Now what happens? During that time, when the Pandavas and Kauravas returned, that is the Pandavas came back to Hastinapur, Chakuti drilled in Duryodhan's mind that these five Pandavas that come to tell everything that belongs to them. So Duryodhan and the other brothers started hating Pandavas from the day they came back. Now, as they grew up, they used to play together. And then, let us look at one time when Bhim taught the Pandavas a lesson. So I'll talk about that incident. Now what happened was that they were all playing hide and seek. The Pandos and Koros. Five Pandos and hundred Koros. They were playing hide and seek. And now what happens? When it was Koros' turn to play, what did they do? They climbed up a tree and sat there. So the Pandos found them and told them, okay, we have seen you, so let's come down. The Kauravas refused to climb down. And now what happens? When the Kauravas refused to climb down, over here Bhim was angry because he was already hungry. And you know when Bhim becomes hungry, he has to eat food. So he wanted to go back to the palace. So now the Kauravas were not coming down. They were not ready to come down. So Bhim decided and looked at his other three brothers, Arjun, Nokul and Sadev, and saying, you know, he rolled his eyes. So the three brothers understood that Bhim was up to a plan. So he told you this too, that his back is itching. Imagine, now what happens? So we need told you this to his back is itching and wanted to scratch his back back he this says go ahead and scratch that back of yours so beam went to lean against the trunk of the tree on which the Kauravas were up there and he used the trunk of the tree to scratch his back to and fro to and fro so as he scratched his back the tree started swaying and up there, the Kauravas became unstable. They were also shaking. So, imagine 
what would have happened what was happening up there yeah it was a moment of you can say for you it's laughter yeah when i'm telling you the story the corals started shaking in such a way that some of them began losing the hold of the branches they were standing sitting on so one by one they fell down some scratched some bruised and some hung out but they all came down when bimbo shaking the tree these corals were falling down like ripe mangoes yes when you shake a tree you know all the ripe mangoes fall down that's how the situation of the coral was was falling down like ripe mangoes so today i have talked about the five pandas and the corals hundred corals and their lives okay so we reached the first story where beam teaches the corals a lesson now because of that incident that happened in corals life the corals hated the pandas but they hated beam the most and then duryodhan now sets a plan on to how to get rid of because he was the strength of the five panels yes the other four they did not have any problem with it was only beam so this is what duryodhan had in mind how duryodhan poisoned beam so in the next lesson i'll talk about how duryodhan poisoned beam so that will be all for the day so what we can start now is so we'll look at whatever we have learned for the day pandava was the five in numbers and their names were yudhishthir bhim arjun nakul and sahadev and let us look at the qualities of the five pandavas yudhishthir was the eldest of the pandavas he was always truthful so he was also known as dharmaraj bhim was very strong and a good eater arjun was very good at archery nakul was handsome and could train horses sahadev was an astrologer the parents of the pandavas were Pandu was the father, Kunti and Madri were the mothers. The Kauravas were a hundred in number. Their father was Dhritarashtra and mother was Gandhari. And uh, why did Pan why did Dhritarashtra not become the king? Because he was blind from birth. So who became the king? Pandu. And in the story of how Bhim taught Kauravas a lesson. So what did Bhim do to get the Kauravas down from the tree? He shook the tree. And how did the pan how did the Kauravas fall down? Like ripe mangoes. So in the next story, next lesson I said I'll explain to you how Bhim poisoned how Duryodhan poisoned Bhim. And then we shall also look at the story of the ball game. so all that and then with this we can answer those questions that i gave you in the with the along with the notes of my bharat so see you next time enjoy yourselves till then keep safe and eat healthy yeah stay indoors and yes continue working at home make sure stay safe that's all bye see you